starting over. Not necessarily the prettiest process, but definitely a humbling one. A fresh start, a clean slate. Sometimes we just need a new beginning. And despite my initial plan to start the year right and hit the ground running, I ended up avoiding it because I wasn't ready for that at all. But in my time away living like a recluse, I at least managed to document a few things. I read a few books. I turned another year older. Made time for some hobbies. And went out into the world for a bit. But despite my well-intentioned efforts to have a break and embracing my time off, the thought of picking things back up seemed more and more daunting. And when it was finally time to get up and get back to work, I found myself struggling to get started on anything. And so today, I decree that rotting season is officially over. And it's time to get it together. So one thing that I need to get started on is home projects. I have put off so many. You see that pile over there? Yeah, that's also gonna be handled. So I have three things that we're gonna do in the next, maybe today. Honestly, today and tomorrow. Let's get started. So this corner, very familiar. It's in all of my videos. And as you can see, I have some frames. They're just sitting on the floor for like the better half of the year. Um, and it's finally time to do something about it. I'm thinking of putting a print up on this wall, maybe even a gallery wall. So let me, let me show you what I'm working with. I thrifted a bunch of frames. Honestly, no offense, not really my style. Oh, this was 14 bucks. I also got some prints from Staples. I got like a bunch of them to match those frames. So that's the plan. I'm honestly, I'm kind of nervous. Alas. I've been thinking a lot lately on what it means to build momentum from scratch. The longer we take to pick something back up, the harder it feels to start again. At the turn of the year, I was feeling very overwhelmed and it took me ages to just start on anything. At one point, I even thought there was something wrong with me. But what I think I really needed was to go back to making things simple again. Okay, first painting, colored. All right, so what I'm basically doing, you, like this is so unnecessary, I definitely don't have to do this, but basically I'm putting some of this matte Mod Podge onto prints because when it dries, it can give it sort of a texture. So it's like a fake painting almost. I've seen a bunch of DIYs do this, so I wanted to try it. Um, I guess it's doing okay. This is my first time doing this sort of thing. So if this turns out bad, I'm just gonna have to live with it. Okay, it's still drying, but you can kind of see the textures. I am in, I am impressed. I'm gonna move on to the next uh, pages. It's the next day and the paintings are looking good. They're drying. I wanted to start off today by decorating this wall. So I was actually able to find this sideboard on Amazon and I figured it matched my other shelf. So it would be a good option for now. I mean, I, I, I think it's fine for my needs. For a long time, I was trying to figure out what I can put on this wall. Currently, I was using like a tiny little whiteboard to write my ideas on and often I would just run out of space so I thought 
that maybe I can convert this into a story wall. I got a very quick tutorial on how to use a drill, so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do that. light so it's gonna go over there <laughs> so now that we're done with that wall, I'm gonna move on to assembling all the prints that I added a little bit of texture to. Let me put that together and then hopefully transform this wall. So for some of these frames, I'm thinking I'm gonna remove the glass. Oh my god, literally this this is horrible. Finally got the glass to freaking get out of this frame after removing like 12 staples. Yes! Ugh. I have a frame. That is literally such a fail. I don't know if you can see that, but the picture is too small. Once I put it in the frame, wow, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. After putting the prints together, I started tracing the frames to plan a layout. At this point, I had a few mess ups off camera and generally things were taking so much longer than I thought. Remind me to never do this again. And I started to question my entire life. That might be way too much. I could also just do one big frame. <gasps> oh my god, I just stepped. Well, that, I'm never gonna use that again. Holy shit, I can't believe I just did that. Oh boy, I don't know if you can see it. Oh boy. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> shit. It's a common belief that you need to know everything before taking the plunge, but the truth is the doing comes first before the momentum. But no matter how far behind you think you are, how do you expect to get anywhere if you never start the car? I put sort of an outline on the wall. I think I'm missing like maybe one little frame that I can put right there, but we're just gonna ignore that for now. I used to think by the time I was in my mid-twenties, I would have it all figured out. But I think we all know that's the furthest thing from the truth. It's full of cycles of getting it together, then it falling apart. And each time, all we have to do is take the first step and start. I still think that I can add way more. I think this is a good start to a gallery wall. Okay, good morning, good morning. I thought I was done this project of mounting my gallery wall, but remember when I said I wish I had maybe just one more small frame right there? You will never believe it. What are the odds? I'm actually shook. Look how perfect this is. Boom. 
honestly, I totally forgot that I had that frame. It was just chilling on my shelf in the other room for the longest time. And I was cleaning up yesterday, putting away all the tools. It caught my eye and I was like, oh my God, it's the missing piece. Officially done. We are done. Well, not officially. I still have actually a lot more, um, a lot more plans for this for this office. But boom, I love it. I ended up taking out the glass of these two as well. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so happy about this. Sit down in this corner. Not bad. Not bad.